Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys how I made this wall tapestry behind me. So let me preface this by saying I had no idea what I was doing and I'd never made anything like this before, but I don't think that always necessarily needs to stop you from trying something new or trying a fun creative project like this because it's basically just trial and error and it was fun, the process was fun, I really liked the results, so I thought I'd share what I did with you guys. So I'd seen a ton of these really beautiful tapestries on Pinterest and Instagram and I really wanted to make one for this wall. We're actually in a hallway in my apartment and it has a breaker box and I could never figure out what to hang here because the breaker box is kind of off center so I can't hang a picture frame in it because it's just like a weird dimension. So I thought that it would be fun to try to make something to hide the breaker box and I think this tapestry is the perfect solution for that. I've always really loved Moroccan wedding blankets. They're typically white and cream and have some kind of um, like sequency glitter throughout them. And I just really like that mix of something really organic with, you know, the glitteriness of it. And so I wanted to make something like that for my tapestry. So I decided to go with neutral colors, mostly whites and creams. And then I had this one yarn that kind of had some sequence um, throughout it as well. And when I picked my yarn, I made sure that I got a lot of different textures and sizes to keep things interesting since it was going to be really simple in the color aspect of it all. I wanted to make sure I kept it interesting with lots of different shapes and textures. So for this project, the only thing that I purchased new was the yarn. I didn't want to buy a loom because I needed a really big one and I didn't want to have to store it because you know, I, don't, I didn't know if I was going to like this or want to make another one. Turns out I really do like it and I probably will make another one. But what I ended up using for my loom was just a really big canvas. So the one I'm using here is 30 inches by 40 inches and I just borrowed it from one of my friends. And I just took my thinnest yarn and wrapped it around the canvas. So as you can see, I'm not really being too precious with it. I don't like to measure things out or make things perfect. I would much rather just kind of make it imperfect and go with that because that's easier for me. And then I just tied the yarn to itself on each end to secure it. So I just kind of went for it, not really knowing what I was supposed to do, but it turned out okay, so this is what I did. I started with the yarn and I would just weave it up and down, up and down. And then once I got to the end, I pulled a lot of the yarn through to the other side. I did this so that I could go back the other way with the same piece of yarn. And I ended up doing that, you know, depending on the color and the style of the yarn, about five rows up. I would say probably about five to ten rows. I would just kind of eyeball it and go back and forth. And I made sure that if I went under on the first one, on the next row I would go over. And when I was done with the yard, I just clipped it on the end and let it hang off the side. And then when I was all done with everything, I just kind of wove it back into the back of the piece. I was a little bit nervous that maybe it would come apart if it wasn't secured properly on the sides, but it turned out okay. It stained together really well and I really love the results. To make the little tassels on the bottom of my tapestry, I just took a piece of yarn, folded it in half, and then on each individual um, piece that I was weaving to, I would just take one and tie it in a little knot. So once I had everything done, I lifted up my canvas and I cut the string off the back of it. This was a scary part because I didn't know really what was going to happen, if it was going to fall apart, if it was going to stay together okay, and it ended up staying together pretty well. And then to secure the bottom, I took the string and I just tied it together in a knot. So as you can see, these tassels are here and then there's the kind of loom string that I had woven everything on and then there's the two separate tassels and so I just tied each one together. So the top of the weave was a little bit more tricky. I really didn't have too much of a plan in this part. I had seen online that people that actually used looms had little loops that they would just put a dowel through, but I didn't have loops since I did the wrapping around the canvas technique that I told you guys about. So what I ended up doing was just taking the pieces, 
really carefully to not disturb the you know yarn that was on the top layer so what I ended up doing was taking three to four pieces of the yarn putting it together and tying a little knot onto the bamboo and I ended up just taking a piece of bamboo from my front yard and kind of cleaning it off and it was really easy to cut so I just cut it down to size and tied the top of the yarn to it and it worked out well. So as you guys can see, the yarn got a little bit warped from how it was on the canvas to how it is on the wall. And that's probably because I didn't do it very tightly. And again, my loom technique was kind of out there and not very perfect. But I really love how it looks. I think it's really organic feeling and it covers up my ugly breaker box really well and that was the point of this whole exercise anyway. And I just really love how it looks. So I hope this video was helpful or fun for you guys to watch in some way. I know it wasn't the best technical tutorial ever on this subject, but it was really fun for me and I thought it would be fun to show you guys that you could totally make something like this and it's really easy and you don't necessarily need all of the tools to do something fun and creative. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!